So hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. We have brought you to South Carolina today. We are at Kings Mountain. We wanna take you through the sights and sound of this historic site, the site that turned the tide for the American people. Let's go. So we thought we would bring you along for the sights and sound of Kings Mountain today. I have two fifth great grandfathers that are documented as having fought here. And also one of them was fighting along the side of his own father, which would make my sixth great grandfather. So we have a lot of documentation on a lot of the different things that happened here at Kings Mountain. If you are researching your family history, I encourage you to make sure that you are looking through fold three, all the pensions available online. Go to the sites if you can, because I'm telling you, your grandfathers welcome you home. So right now we are at basically the base of where the battle would have been from my understanding. So you can see they would have charged up to where we're headed up the hill. So as I've been studying my fifth great grandfather, Captain Robert Patton, we know that he was in the cavalry. So I've been spending a lot of time understanding how these men would have fought on horseback. And actually that's not what would have happened according to some of our 
local historians and people we've talked to. They said that basically they would have ridden in, they would have kept their horses at the base. Now that could have been anywhere. I mean, obviously we don't know for sure exactly where. So they would have gotten off of horseback. And you know that the men charged to Ferguson and his death up the mountain here. So it's really amazing to think and to know that you're walking and breathing and looking at the same exact stepways and the same exact positions or potentials that these men, these incredibly brave men and grandfathers, where they stood. Kings Mountain is not just a battlefield and a park for you to come visit today. It is also, in a sense, a burial ground because not only do you have Ferguson actually buried here on site, but you also have the fact that a lot of the Tories, once the battle was over, were pretty much left. Some say they were buried in shallow graves, but nonetheless, we know that this area was pretty much abandoned for a while because of wolves. The wolves moved in and were basically feasting on the bodies of these men. So when you come and visit, you're not just learning about history, you're basically at a burial ground. So I'm going to conclude the video. There is so much here to see at Kings Mountain. This is just a tip of the iceberg. So please come and visit. Please take your children, grandchildren, nieces, and nephews to historic sites. Please make it a point to educate them about the history of this country, the good and the bad, all of the battles, all of the scars, and more importantly, about all the important men and women that have fought and especially those who have died for our freedoms. This is the time that we need to be fighting for our freedoms and making sure that history is not erased is the most important step. We look forward to seeing you on the next video. I wanna let you know that I will be at Sycamore Shoals on September the 25th as we walk the Watauga, and I'll be back here as a proud descendant on October the 7th as we are here at Kings Mountain. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching.